Hi, I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Department of Forestry and Natural Resources, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the black locust, Robinia pseudacacia. Sometimes called yellow locust, post locust, and even false acacia, it grows naturally on a wide range of sites but does best on rich, moist limestone soils. It is a medium sized tree, generally 40 to 60 feet tall, and can grow, up 12, can grow to 12 to 30 inches in diameter. In general, black locust trees are fast growing but short lived, living up to maybe 90 years. Black locust is very sensitive to competition and is classified as very shade intolerant. Black locust is native to the United States, though the extent of its original range is not accurately known. It is thought that black locust was originally found in two regions. The eastern region centered in the Appalachian Mountains, and the western region included the Ozark Plateau of southern Missouri, northern Arkansas, and northeastern Oklahoma. It is thought that, the outlying native, that there were outlying native populations that existed in southern Indiana, Illinois, Kentucky, Alabama, and Georgia. It has escaped cultivation and become naturalized throughout eastern North America and parts of the West. The showy, fragrant, whitish, pea-like flowers, which do smell wonderful, are born in 5-inch drooping racemes and appear after the leaves emerge sometime between May or June. The flowers are perfect and originate in the axils of the current year leaves and are pollinated by insects, primarily bees, and hummingbirds have been known to visit the flowers. Black locust flowers are used in honey production. The leaves are deciduous, alternately arranged on the stem, as you can see in the photo. With the, it's got the strong yellow um, circle, and they are pinnately compound. And you'll see that there is one leaf that is circled with orange um, that shows you a pinnately compound leaf. Each leaf is between 8 and 14 inches long with 7 to 19 leaflets. The leaflets are oval with smooth entire margins. The fall color is typically greenish to yellow and not typically very showy. The leaves tend to drop early. Outbreaks of the locust leaf miner occur almost yearly. Black locust trees throughout an entire region are often defoliated, and during years of low rainfall, many trees are killed. You might have noticed these brown trees as you drive along highways and interstates. Fruit is a flattened oblong legume pod, typically two to four inches long, that ripens during September and October. The pod contains between four and eight small kidney-shaped smooth seeds. The fruit opens on the tree and the seeds are dispersed from September to April. Black locusts begin seed production around the age of six with best production between 15 and 40 years. Trees typically have good seed crops at one to two year intervals. Its seeds are rated low as wildlife food, but are used to a limited extent by northern bobwhite, other game birds, and squirrels. The locust borer, which is another pest of black locust, allow heart rot fungi um, to enter trunks, and the resultant fungal bodies are often called artist conchs, as you can see in the center photo. Because older trees are usually infected with heart rot, woodpeckers often construct cavities in them. Nest cavities of the downy woodpecker, hairy woodpecker, and common flicker have been found in black locust. The bark um, of the mature tree is kind of distinctive, and it is typically gray to dark gray or brownish. It's thick with deep furrows that are heavily ridged, and some say it resembles a woven rope. Although black locust is not an important timber tree in the United States, it has been widely planted for reclamation and windbreaks, and it is an important species for wildlife cover by providing nesting, roosting, and thermal cover on newly forested sites. The wood is heavy, strong, and durable, and shrinks little upon drying. The wood is considered one of the strongest and stiffest domestic woods alongside our hickory. It is used for a wide variety of products and is planted for many specialized purposes. It is used for fence posts, mine timbers, poles, railroad ties, crates, and even novelty items. It is also an excellent firewood species. The national champion black locust is in Livingston, New York. It is 326 inches in circumference, 99 feet tall, with a 72-foot crown spread. Kentucky's champion black locust is in Oldham County, and it's 196 inches in circumference, 64 feet tall, with a 56-foot crown spread. 
If you'd like to know more about Champion Trees, go to American Forest Champion Tree National Tree Register or check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry's Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about black locust. It has root nodules that, allows the tr that allow the trees to fix atmospheric nitrogen into a usable plant form, thus enriching the soil around the tree and overall benefiting that site, improving that soil. The young branches often have stipular spines or thorns at the base of the leaves, and those can be sharp. While not planted as an ornamental tree in the United States, it has been widely planted in Europe since it was first introduced into France in the beginning of the 17th century. Its species name, Pseudacacia, means false acacia because early European settlers mistakenly thought the tree was the old world locust tree. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about our black locust and get the opportunity this spring to get out in your neighborhood, a local park, or your woodland and enjoy the beauty of the black locust.